Over the last hundred years, we've mostly had a reactive safety culture. And so we've never answered the question of how safe is safe enough. 36,120 lives lost in 2019 is not a safe road system. So what's interesting is even at NHTSA, when we were looking for defects, often the criteria would be, did they represent an unreasonable risk to safety? But we didn't always define what the standard or criteria was for that unreasonable risk. Throughout my career as a board member at the National Transportation Safety Board and as administrator of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, there is one saying that is critical for us to always keep in mind. Safety delayed is safety denied. We need to pursue every path possible, including new technologies and fully self-driving vehicles to ensure that we save as many lives and prevent injuries and crashes. Safety delayed means safety denied. A common question is about regulation. What do we need to help make autonomous vehicles safe? My path, since I've been administrator at NHTSA, is we need innovation. We are in a moment of incredible innovation that's going on now. That should drive data-driven best practices. So whatever we come up with, they are all based on good data that show us how safe these systems are. And that will set the foundation eventually for good, strong, regulation. That path of going from innovation, data-driven best practices, to regulation is a path that we can follow that will ensure we get the highest levels of safety for future autonomous vehicles. For the last 100 years in the auto industry, it's been primarily a reactive safety culture. You wait until there's a crash, an injury, or a life lost, and then you figure out, well, how could we have prevented that? In the aviation industry for several decades now, there's been a proactive safety culture. And we're in a moment where there's a chance to transform from reactive to a proactive safety culture on road safety.